All right, cool. So we're going to get into the chemistry. So there's there's a lot of compounds in Amadita. Um, the two ones we're going to talk about today are ibotenic acid and muscimol. So these mushrooms have large amounts of ibotenic acid in their raw state, like we have here, which we'll pass around in a little bit. I just found this gasawi uh, in the woods. Um, so they have a lot of ibotenic acid in their um, in their raw state, and they do have some muscimol, but it's mostly ibotenic acid. Now, uh, ibotenic acid can have various effects um, in small amounts. It can be energizing, it can be a little speedy, almost like caffeine or like an amphetamine. Um, but in large amounts, it can cause really negative side effects like um, seizures, vomiting, nausea, diarrhea, sweating. Um, and um, so it stimulates glutamate, which is kind of like the opposite of what the muscimol does, which is um, activates the GABA centers. Um, so whenever we pick the mushroom, we typically would dehydrate it. And we're going to start to decarboxylate that ibotenic acid into muscimol. It loses a carboxyl group and it turns into muscimol. It's kind of cool because we have one mushroom that has two compounds that are almost polar opposites. And it has this like yin and yang effect. Um, if you eat a raw mushroom, you, you, you'll feel like the ibotenic acid coming on and then uh, you'll feel really energized and then you'll feel like kind of like relaxed and it's it's kind of a roller coaster I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I had to do it for science uh, yeah. <laughs> For science I have a YouTube video. It's pretty funny if you want to see it. So now we have muscimol Which is the GABA agonist. It's anxiolytic. So it reduces anxiety um, helps with insomnia depression addictions of all sorts, uh, PTSD and anxiety. Muscimol actually has similar effects on the body as Chantix, which is that quit smoking drug. Um, I smoke cannabis, or uh, tobacco, rather, uh, that I grow, and I find that I don't really want to smoke as much whenever I'm taking Amanita regularly, which is kind of interesting. Um, and then I've, I've helped people get off of benzodiazepines, SSRIs, uh, various opiates, um, and cannabis too, and, and also alcohol, uh, which is pretty cool. I uh, feel pretty good about that. Um, one of the biggest things, I think, which is the takeaway, is the, the PTSD aspect. Whenever we are filled with trauma and we have a response of something that stimulates that memory, it could be something that happened last night, last week, or when we were five years old. The trauma response in the brain is the same because the brain doesn't understand time. It doesn't exist. So whenever we experience something, watch something, hear something, or witness something, the brain is, it's all the same. That's why, you know, watching violent movies can stimulate the, the fight or flight response. So. Whenever our body has a trauma response to that, it's usually fight or flight or freeze or you know dissociate to protect. And what, what that's doing is basically affirming to our self that no, this isn't safe still. This isn't safe. Like we can't be open and vulnerable here. But the cool thing about muscimol being a GABA A agonist is it actually can help suppress the fight or flight response in the body. And whenever that happens, it kind of disables that trauma response. And whenever we're in deep meditation and we're working in some, you know, maybe a shamanic journey or some other kind of healing modality and working with Amanita as well, as kind of like an adjunct therapy, we can actually step off that trauma cycle and become a new person, which is really cool. Stepping onto a new timeline where we're not traumatized. And this can happen in larger doses of Amanita. It can happen incre incrementally in, in smaller doses too.